wanted to let you in on something kind of personal. I'm going to be making my vision board. And I do this every now and then. Um, I don't really have like every birthday or every year. It's kind of like when I get to a point where I realize that things need to change. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I just kind of am at a point in my life where things are just not really going the way that I would like them to go. And I think it's just time to... It's just time for new goals and to reevaluate what I want. And so I wanted to talk to you about what a vision board is. So a vision board is essentially pictures and words and things of goals or affirmations or things that you want to achieve. I actually have my old vision board right here and it, what I felt was so interesting about it, essentially it's the vision of what you want to be, the vision of what you want to become, what outcome you want um, in your life, your most perfect life or your perfect goals or whatever. And it's so funny the words that I chose and how they have kind of come true except for just not in the way that I wanted them to. So this is my old vision board. So this is coming of age. You better work. Um, seeing changes, discovering the truth, game changer, come as you are, grow up, no excuses. Um, no, everything that I put on here, it, these words at the time meant you're like work hard and you know make money and make become successful. And now, when I look at these words, I realize that they mean struggle, you know, like they mean going through challenges and going through trials and pushing yourself to change and constantly having changes in your life. And that's honestly kind of like what's happened to me in my life recently, which I'm going to make a video about to kind of explain to you guys what's going on and why I've been off the grid a little bit lately, but you know, things haven't been great. They just really haven't and I'm ready for a change. But I'm going to show you guys how to make a vision board and what you need to do and how I'm doing it. So let's start going through these magazines. I just kind of pick things that spoke to me, like I would kind of flip through them and decide which I thought were saying the kinds of things that I was interested in. So I got self. I found this in my apartment complex. So I just took it. I thought, we'll see if there's anything. That was the Time magazine and then um, O magazine from Oprah. So I'm going to just go through these magazines and start picking out pages that say something to you. It's a word or a picture or something like that. And while I do that, I'm going to put the good wife on and then I will get back to you once I've picked some of my selections. of the girl who's diving into 2017. I think that 2016 was such an awful year for pretty much everybody and I'm just ready for 
things to be different. You know, this is like for inspiration, influential. It's like for influencing people, being an influencer or a content creator. That's like the idea by that, you know, self-worth, weightless. Like I don't want to be burdened anymore. I don't want to feel like everything is weighing me down, which is how I have felt for so long. And I think maybe other people can uh, relate to that. What you put out into the world is what you get. I think that if you want to be negative and you ask for hard times and you ask for life to smack you in the face, you're you're going to get it, you know? We should be grateful for what we do have no matter what. We should be, you know, happy. And happiness is a choice as much as it is something that can be given or taken away. You can choose to be happy. And I want to be happy. I want to be excited every day. I'm done waiting for the right moments to do things. It's like, oh, well, when, you know, when I get the right camera, when I get enough money saved, when, you know, I'm in a different life situation, then I'll start that business or then I'll start my channel. Then I'll whatever, you know, and it's enough's enough. It's time to just do it. And if it doesn't work, well, on to the next thing. And I'm just being weighed down by so many things and trying to be someone I'm not. I'm trying to fit into this consumer, worker, corporate life and being this little worker bee, hoping that something's going to change from that. Nothing's going to change from me sitting around, you know, being the little worker. I'm not a worker. I'm an entrepreneur. And that's what I've always wanted to be. And you know what? It's a new year. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. I just want to hold my own destiny in my hands. You know, I'm ready to make those changes. I'm ready to get rid of all the things that are weighing me down and preventing me from being the best that I can be. So, yeah. <laughs> End rant. But, you know, I hope that it encourages you guys to do it. It's not as much as it can be a spiritual thing that people use these for, like new age, it's like a reminder of your goals, you know? It's these affirmations and these things that, it, that remind you of what's important to you. And when things get hard and times are tough and you just feel like the things you want are so far away, this is something that you've created that is for you and you alone. And it doesn't matter what other people think of it. It doesn't matter if those aren't their goals. It's what you're going to look at every day that's going to push you to be that person and to make your dreams happen. And, you know, as m I am totally like a pessimist sometimes. I get annoyed so easily and things bring me down. But, you know, at the end of the day, I try and come back and I say, you know what? I'm going to be positive anyway. I'm going to be a happy person and I'm going to push forward. Oh, I just hope that you know, maybe you guys are having a hard time too. You'll watch this video and think, hey, you know, that's something that I can do that's proactive, that can recalibrate my system. It's something that can remind me of the direction I'm trying to go in. And then once you, when you get to a point where you look at that board and it doesn't mean anything to you anymore, it's time to make a new one. However, this isn't enough. You can't just say, well, I've made my vision board and now my dreams are going to come true. No, you have to get off the couch and you have to knock on every single freaking door. You have to be both. You have to be positive and hardworking. You know, I hope that this maybe inspired some of you guys to get out there and make your own vision board. And maybe it's something you've never even heard of. So, you know, go get some magazines. Go get pictures and things that speak to you. And whether it's, you know, on your wall or it's on your fridge or it's on a poster board or it's on a canvas, it doesn't matter. You know, you do what you need to do and what inspires you and what, you know, you'll feel it. It'll, it'll pull at you, those messages that you need in your life. And those apparently, you know, I was meant to go through some hard times and that's why those things stuck out to me. And now I know better. So, you know, I'm ready for those positive changes. 
If any of you guys make a vision board or have any questions, please ask down in the comments below and please send me pictures of, of your vision boards if you make them. I would love to see them and see what kind of dreams and goals you guys have. And you know, I'm sure a lot of them are very similar and especially on this community, I think a lot of us, you know, can, uh, I don't know, we can all kind of find a common ground on realizing that we're very similar and our goals and dreams are very similar and to be kind to each other about them. So don't forget to leave that comment for me. I would love to hear from you guys and please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me to have you guys join my family and I try to respond to as many people who comment as I can and I, especially if you leave me an actual message, I swear I will comment back to you. I try my best. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys soon. All right, bye everybody.